So the first thing you want to do is put on a glove. Okay. So always put on your gloves. You will unscrew this cap here. Once the cap is off, you will then take your hose, remove the sewage cap. Just whisk off like that. And then we will slide the sewage hose underneath. Latch it onto the sewage pipe. We will then take our sewage hose, take it to our sewer, engage it into our sewer hole. It also helps if you have something to hold it, the cap or, or a brick or a stone or a stick or something. And make sure you have a downward grade on your sewage. Now this is quite stretched, uh, which you don't have to be because there is an additional 10 feet extender. If you want to connect the hoses, you can make it longer. But the flow should be on a downward grade at all times. And what you will do first is pull your black tank. You will hear the sewage run out. And after that runs out, we'll then pull our gray tank. And the reason that you pull your black first is because the toilet water is a little bit grosser and it smells. Um, whereas the gray water usually has soap and regular water in it, which rinses out all the waste. After that's done draining, you can then come to your control panel, press the home button, and you can see there's still something inside the black tank. From there, I will just go to my toilet and I will fill it up a couple of good times with force to try to flush whatever is in the black tank out. It may never fully come out. Um, the sensors are not always fully accurate, but you do the best you can to empty the tanks. And now you can see that my tanks were fully empty and I'm good to go. I have 67% fresh water and my tanks are both empty. So that's exactly where you want to be before you drive. And for good measure, I generally close these valves, go back inside, flush the toilet two or three good times, and then repeat the process while you're still engaged. You want to pull these firmly, but you don't want to yank them because they, these are very delicate. They can break. And you don't want to break them. So that is it. Some people suggest that you close these while you're camping and release them as needed. Other people will tell you uh, to just leave it open. I personally just leave it open. And then when you're done, just rinse out your hose with some water. Just fill it with water, you know, wet it down a little bit. And then you'll just walk it back. Let it flush out. This one's nice because it has a window. You can see everything flushed out. And now you're ready to store this away. And that's it.